Brian Hogan and his father Pat are milking 95 cows near Thurless County Tipperary in a 16-unit herringbone with cluster removers. Herd size has increased and the plan is to increase herd size further over coming years. On this farm, cow flow into the parlour is not very good. Cows come in from the paddocks and walk down beside the parlour into a collecting yard which is quite small behind the parlour. The collecting yard has no backing gate and Brian had to step out most times to push cows into the parlour. Brian fills up a row and starts putting on clusters straight away. When we called in September, cows were getting some meal so cows quickly walked up to the top of the row. Brian has cluster removers so he was very relaxed in the pit, especially in the second half of lactation, waiting for clusters to come off in most instances. Once cows are in, he flicks the switch at the back to close the back gate and walks up to the front to start swinging over clusters. Irrespective of what side he was attaching clusters on, he holds the cloth piece with his left hand and attaches with his right hand. Average attachment time was about 9 seconds per cow, from the time he grabbed the unit to the time all four cups were attached. Brian worked his way down the pit. As clusters came off, he would swing them across and attached them to the opposite row. When he was waiting for clusters to come off, Brian would start teeth spraying the milked cows. For teeth spraying, he used a single teeth spray nozzle attached to a long hose that covered the length of the parlour. Cows were teeth sprayed from the front back and when all cows were sprayed, Brian would press the button to release the front gate. The cows exit to the right of the parlour as you look out through a three metre wide door. There is a manual drafting facility present just as the cows exit, but this is only used during the breeding season or when cows need to be separated. On the day of our test, it went straight out and back to the field. When we called in late September, Brian was milking 95 cows and they were producing 18.5 litres per cow on track to produce about 500 kilos of milk solids per cow. The Hogans have four high volume water hoses dropping down along each side of the pit. They are used for washing walls, floors and the clusters. There is also one longer hose at the back for washing the rear of the parlour, but most of the time Brian uses a hand scraper to push the solid muck into the slatted flow channel at the back. While the last row has been milked, as soon as clusters come off, Brian washes them with the water hose and puts them on the jetters. So by the time the last cow is milked, most of the clusters are on the jetters and ready for washing. When they are all on, he spends a bit of time washing them again with the yellow hoses, along with the pit and cow standing areas. Brian Hogan's average row time was just over 15 minutes. What really killed Brian's row time was poor cow flow. When we compare Brian's parlour with cluster removers to the 16 unit without, it is probably fair to question the merit of automatic cluster removers in a 16-unit parlour.